what is biotransformation the drug which are non polar are reabsorbed by the kidney so they cannot be excreted which leads to harmful conditions in order to excrete these non polar drugs they need to undergo a process known as biotransformation in which a non polar drug molecules are converted into a polar molecule so biotransformation is the process of chemical alteration of drugs which convert it from non polar to polar compounds now the changes happening in biotransformation some active drugs after biotransformation become inactive some other active drugs forms active metabolite after biotransformation inactive drugs also known as products forms active metabolite after biotransformation now the reaction taking place in biotransformation they are the phase 1 reaction and phase 2 reaction phase 1 reaction includes or this called cd which is a mnemonic for hydrolysis oxidation reduction cyclization decyclization whereas phase 2 reaction includes g3s mra which is a mnemonic for glucuronate conjugation glycine conjugation glutathione conjugation sulfate conjugation and methylation ribonucleoside synthesis acetylation polar drugs without undergoing biotransformation reactions directly excreted some non polar drugs undergo phase 1 reaction and form a metabolite this metabolite may be directly excreted or may undergo phase 2 reaction and form another metabolite which gets excreted some other non polar drugs directly undergo phase 2 reactions and form a metabolite which can be excreted now the enzymes involved in biotransformation it is classified into microsomal enzyme and non microsomal enzyme microsomal enzyme are located in the smooth endoplasmic reticulum they perform most of the hydrolysis oxidation reduction and glucuronate conjugation non microsomal enzymes are present in cytoplasm and mitochondria they perform some oxidation reduction hydrolysis and all conjugations except glucuronation among the microsomal and non microsomal enzymes only microsomal enzymes are inducible and both the enzymes are deficient in new bonds therefore many drugs cannot be metabolized and may cause harm of man's elimination some active drugs become inactive by spontaneous molecular rearrangement there is no enzyme utilized in these reactions inhibition of drug metabolism a drug may competitively inhibit another drug a drug may inhibit another drug's enzyme while being itself a substrate of another enzyme a drug may be the substrate as well as inhibitor of the same enzyme microsomal enzyme induction certain inducer molecules induce the synthesis of microsomal enzyme proteins this leads to increased production of microsomal enzymes which results in increased rate of biotransformation what is first pass metabolism the drugs which are administered orally has to reach the systemic circulation to perform its action for that it has to cross the git and reach the liver through hepatic vein but during this passage some fraction of the drugs are metabolized and destroyed by the intestinal wall and the liver therefore the metabolism of the drug between the site of absorption and the systemic circulation is known as first pass metabolism Thank you for watching please subscribe our channel for more videos